Peace requires clarity about reality and its truth. Every war is undoubtedly a warning signal to all human beings and peoples of this world to come to their senses in order to finally create effective peace on Earth. With the current war in Ukraine, we even risk igniting a world conflagration if the madness prevailing there does not stop soon. And no one can really want that, because everyone with common sense, no matter what nation, culture, or creed they belong to, inherently wants peace as well as order and also security for all life, possessions, and goods on earth. The urgent commandment of the hour is therefore ceasefire, neutrality, and peace negotiations. For only through peaceful actions and sincere efforts to ascertain the effective truth about the genesis of war in a completely neutral manner, in order to be able to comprehend and understand exactly how it came about, can effective steps be taken to eliminate the underlying causal factors. However, this can only be done from a position of neutrality, in which the overall situation can be clearly and unprejudicedly surveyed, so that in turn, everything can be turned around for the good, the better, and the best, and thus also to the satisfaction of all concerned. This means, then, it is only through the honest, clarification work of a completely neutral international peace authority with regard to the true causal factors of the war that every rationally thinking human being in this world will first be put in a position to understand the motives of the respective parties to the conflict, in order to in turn be able to comprehend everything step by step through their own reason and logic and to view it completely neutrally from all sides, to make an objective decision that is fair to all and thus leads to an improvement of the overall situation and to the reconciliation of all those involved in the war, whereby the triggering factors are recognized step by step, completely worked through, and thus resolved. Every human being in this world is capable of recognizing, fathoming and learning to understand the effective truth or the fundamental evolutionary values of true life and thus the peace freedom, love and harmony of the creative laws and commandments that are expressed everywhere in nature, also in himself, in order thereby in turn to implement these highest values of life in reality for his own good as well as for the good of all human beings and all life forms on earth. For only by learning and following these life-affirming values is every human being of this world able to free himself to a large extent from the illogic and thus the lack of understanding and the unreasonableness irrationality of every war, which only still contains life-hostile non-values such as hatred, death, gavalt, subjugation, and misery, and this by deciding in favor of peace and all the values associated with it, acting and living accordingly. And that in turn means only through the tireless efforts of all truth-loving, peace and freedom-thinking and thus predominantly democratically living and duty-conscious human beings of this world will we finally create peace on earth and thus also the life-affirming values of truth, freedom, love and security for life and limb as well as human dignity, equality, justice, righteousness, conscientiousness, and the well-being, happiness, and contentment that go with them in order to realize these fundamental values of true human beinghood, both within ourselves and externally for all human beings, all peoples, and all life forms of the earth. Conflicts of any kind can be successfully comprehended, worked through and overcome solely through the logic of effective truth, and thus only by following the creator natural laws and commandments of life. Violent nonviolence actions in logic and reason is the path of passive, logical gavalt, which is practiced and enforced only in the sense of a positive, pacifying, harmonizing, balancing, uplifting, and order-creating use in the form of passively offering resistance, 
might and influence, etc., in a logical process. This, in turn, means that any conflict can only be resolved through sincere efforts for peace and thus solely through actions in logic and reason, guided by truth and love, in cooperation with all the associated high values of true humanity, such as openness, honesty, forbearance, forgiveness, reconciliation, tolerance, patience, and true humanity, and if necessary, also with the support of an all-state composed and completely neutral multinational peacekeeping force, which works exclusively for peace and security, but never through militarism, armament, and arms deliveries, whereby mass murder, rape, torture, and destruction take place. For every military breaks international law in a war and is therefore completely unsuitable to bring about peace and security for life and limb. Quotes and Thoughts from Goblet of the Truth and the Doctrine of Creation Energy In true peace efforts, however, we must fathom the reality of the current overall situation and all the interconnections of the current crises, conflicts and wars on earth with open senses, and thus completely consciously and absolutely neutrally, without any evaluating, judging and associating distinctions, in order to determine the effective facts of reality from the clear view of neutrality, in order to become aware of the totality of the underlying causes as well as all the resulting interconnections and their subsequent effects. First and foremost, the almost endlessly growing overpopulation of the earth and all the criminal machinations arising from it, which can only be reasonably solved by an immediate, long-term, worldwide birth stop and a subsequent worldwide birth regulation, and the deceitful striving for world hegemony of the power elites in the U.S. government and NATO, which can only be stopped by bringing about a uniform peace treaty for all states of the earth. By becoming aware of the real facts and their causal connections, new knowledge, valuable insights, and evolutionary knowledge arise, which makes it possible to recognize, grasp, and understand the effective truth of the overall situation and its reality in the first place. For it is only through reason, rationality, and logic or consistency of our own thinking feeling and acting that we human beings are enabled to bring our powers of consciousness into harmony with the reality of the effective truth, in order in turn to behave honestly and truthfully towards everything and everyone, and thus to protect all human beings as well as all life forms, and of course also the earth itself, from the horrific consequences of every war. And this by being guided solely by the logic and love of the truth of the all-encompassing creation. Every human being in this world bears a partial responsibility for everything that happens on earth, and is therefore also partly responsible for the war in Ukraine and for every other war on earth, but only as long as they do nothing about it. That is why each of us should ask ourselves the following questions. What does war bring us at all? Peace, freedom, love, and security? Or only death, destruction, poverty, and misery? And what are we aiming at with the many economic sanctions against Russia and the endless arms deliveries of the NATO countries to Ukraine? Will this simply put the war and also the misery of all those who are affected by it in Ukraine, in Russia, and also here in Western Europe out of action? Or will this only fuel a spiral of hatred, unreason, and violence endlessly? Will the overall situation of the countries involved in the war be improved in any process? Or will the peaceful-minded and hard-working peoples of these countries continue to be unjustly punished by hostile sanctions? Deadly force of arms and insidious economic sabotage, such as the destruction of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and their homelands, cultural assets and achievements continue to be senselessly destroyed? Is this what we really want? To destroy our neighboring states and their cities as well as the earth and its nature with terrible weapons 
and to simply reduce to rubble everything that is dear to us and for which we have worked so hard? And for nothing at all. And what about the future of children and adolescents in Europe? Are we also prepared to simply hand them over for the next 20 to 30 years for an endless destructive war against Russia and China? As cannon fodder, we only have to look at Ukraine to see what is happening there in reality and what we all still have to face if we do not finally learn to put a stop to all wars as quickly as possible through passive logical gay vault actions in logic and reason, for the protection and security of the entire community of life on Earth, namely through tireless peace negotiations, the bringing about of a world peace treaty, and the formation of an all-state, neutrally acting and life-protecting, multinational peacekeeping force. For the domineering power elites of the U.S. government and NATO are abusing the Ukrainian people and their homeland for their dubious expansionist ambitions against Russia and China, destroying the whole country in the process. Where are the governments here in Europe thinking who should actually be looking after the welfare and security of their own peoples instead of involving them in senseless wars with nuclear superpowers? For he who sows the wind will reap the whirlwind. So we cannot be involved in a war by imposing economic sanctions and supplying billions of dollars in weapons. And that, too, without the consent of the respective European peoples concerned, as befits any true democracy, without being hit by the boomerang ourselves, which we, as NATO allies, have hurled by interfering in foreign affairs. So let us finally come to our senses and strive for peace for all human beings and all peoples of this world by stopping the arms deliveries, lifting all sanctions, and immediately initiating peace negotiations.